Welcome to our Bible Quiz channel. Today, we're setting off on an exciting journey through the Gospel of Matthew, covering chapters 1 to 5. We've carefully selected 25 of the most fascinating questions from the book of Matthew to challenge your biblical knowledge. Are you ready to demonstrate just how well you know this essential book of the scriptures? But hold on. Before we dive into the quiz, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us spread God's word even further. We're excited to hear from you and be a part of your Bible exploration. So, are you ready for this incredible journey through the history and teachings of the Gospel of Matthew? Let's get started. Question 1. Which of Jesus' ancestors married Rachab? A. Amminadab B. Salmon C. Aram D. Obed You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, Salmon. Explaining the Bible. And Salmon begat Booz of Rachab, and Booz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse. Matthew chapter 1, verse 5. Question 2. What relationship was Rehoboam to Jesse? A, younger brother. B, elder brother. C, great grandson. D, great grandfather. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C, great-grandson. Explaining the Bible, And Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias, and Solomon begat Roboam, and Roboam begat Abiah, and Abiah begat Asa. Matthew chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. Question 3. From Abraham to David was how many generations? A. 14 generations B. 12 generations C. 43 generations D. 7 generations You get 10 seconds. Correct answer A. 14 generations Explaining the Bible so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations, and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Matthew chapter 1, verse 17. Question 4. From the Babylonian exile to the time of Jesus was how many generations? A. 14 generations. B. 21 generations, C, 7 generations, D, 70 generations. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A, 14 generations. Explaining the Bible. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations, and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Matthew chapter 1, verse 17. Question 5. What is the meaning of Jesus? A. Redeemer. B. The Comforter. C. Savior. D. God with us. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Savior. Explaining the Bible. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Question 6. Which one of these was a gift from the wise men to baby Jesus? A. Incense. B. Myrrh. 
C. Olive oil. D. Jasper. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. Myrrh. Explaining the Bible. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Matthew chapter 2 verse 11. Question 7. Which one of these was a gift from the wise men to baby Jesus? A. Jasper. B. Golden bracelet. C. Frankincense. D. Pearl. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C, frankincense. Explaining the Bible, And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense, and myrrh. Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. Question 8. Why is it that the wise men did not return to Herod? A. They were warned in a dream not to. B. They knew Herod wanted to kill the child. C. They missed the way to Herod's palace. D. They forgot. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. They were warned in a dream not to explaining the Bible, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Matthew chapter 2 verse 12. Question 9. Which one of these was a gift from the wise men to baby Jesus? A. Emerald. B. Silver coins. C. Gold. D. Gold. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D, gold. Explaining the Bible, And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. Question 10. From whom did Herod inquire of the birthplace of Jesus? A, the Sadducees and the scribes. B. The chief priests and the scribes. C. The Pharisees and the Sadducees. D. The Zealots. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. The chief priests and the scribes. Explaining the Bible. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. Matthew chapter 2 verse 4. Question 11. In which region of Israel was John the Baptist preaching? A. Samaria. B. Judea. C. Galilee. D. Edomia. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, Judea, explaining the Bible. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, Matthew chapter 3, verse 1. Question 12, what was John the Baptist's message? A, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. B, repent, for the Savior is here. C, repent and be baptized for your salvation. D, Come to the Lamb of God and be saved. You get 10 seconds.
correct answer. A. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Explaining the Bible and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew chapter 3, verse 2. Question 13. What were John the Baptist's clothes made of? A. Silk. B. Poor cotton wool. C. Goat's hair. D. Camel's hair. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. Camel's hair. Explaining the Bible. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Matthew chapter 3, verse 4. Question 14. What was John the Baptist eating for food? A. Unleavened bread and wine. B. Honey and goat milk. C. Locusts and wild honey. D. Honey and unleavened bread. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Locusts and wild honey. Explaining the Bible. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Matthew chapter 3, verse 4. Question 15. What did John the Baptist do for those who heard his message and came to him? A. He baptized them in River Jordan. B. He directed them to come to Jesus. C. He made them see the Holy Spirit descend like a dove on Jesus. D. He gave them salvation. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. He baptized them in River Jordan. Explaining the Bible. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Matthew chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. Question 16. What had Jesus experienced just before he went into the wilderness to fast? A. He had been to the wedding feast at Cana. B. He had preached in the synagogue for the first time. C. He had been baptized by John the Baptist. D. He had done his first miracle. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. He had been baptized by John the Baptist. Explaining the Bible. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John, to be baptized of him. Matthew chapter 3 verse 13 to 17. Question 17. Who inspired Jesus Christ to go into the wilderness to fast? A. John the Baptist. B. The quest for divine wisdom. C. The quest for power to work miracles. D. The Holy Spirit. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. The Holy Spirit. Explaining the Bible. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. Question 18. While tempting Jesus, what did the devil ask Jesus to turn into bread? A. A rock. B. A stone. C. Some stones. D. A pebble. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Some stones. Explaining the Bible. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Matthew chapter 4, verse 3. 
Question 19. Which city did the devil take Jesus to tempt him? A. Jerusalem. B. Jericho. C. Bethany. D. Sychar. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Jerusalem. Explaining the Bible. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. Matthew chapter 4, verse 5. Question 20. Which town or city was found at the borders of Zabulon and Nephthalim? A. Nazareth. B. Bethlehem. C. Capernaum. D. Emmaus. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Capernaum. Explaining the Bible. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast, in the borders of Zabulon and Nephthalim. Matthew chapter 4, verse 13. Question 21. What blessing is for the poor in spirit? A. They shall inherit the earth. B. They shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. C. They shall be filled with righteousness. D. They shall see God. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. They shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Explaining the Bible. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Question 22. What blessing is for those who mourn? A. They shall be comforted. B. They shall be called sons of God. C. They shall inherit the earth. D. They shall see God. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. They shall be comforted. Explaining the Bible. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew chapter 5 verse 4. Question 23. What blessing is for the meek? A. They shall be filled. B. They shall be called sons of God. C. They shall inherit the earth. D. They shall see God. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. They shall inherit the earth. Explaining the Bible. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew chapter 5 verse 5. Question 24. What blessing is for those who hunger and thirst for righteousness? A. They shall be filled. B. They shall be called sons of God. C. They shall inherit the earth. D. They shall see God. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. They shall be filled. Explaining the Bible. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Matthew chapter 5 verse 6. Question 25. What blessing is for those who are merciful? A. They shall be comforted. B. They shall see God. C. They shall inherit the kingdom of God. D. They shall obtain mercy. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. They shall obtain mercy. Explaining the Bible. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7. 